This is Blair. Hello. Blair is getting married and wants to look like herself, only better. Yes, that's just what I want. Perfect. I getting your makeup right isn't always easy. No one is born a makeup pro, but Allure is here to help you get the look you want. You've got questions? We've got answers. This is Allure's Beauty Basics. First, let's make sure you have all the products and tools you need. Moisturizer, foundation, concealer, highlighter, a powder brush, translucent powder, shimmery taupe eyeshadow, eyeliner, waterproof mascara, blush, lip balm, lip pencil, and a pink lipstick. To start, apply a moisturizer to give you a smooth canvas. That feels good, and it's absorbing pretty quickly. Next, apply a foundation to even out your skin, so it'll look perfect in photos. Looks good to me. Now, apply a little concealer to cover under eye circles and any spots. Yes, okay, I can see these spots. Just dot it on and blend it in with your fingers or a brush. All right, feeling good? Now, do what the pros do. Add highlighter. Okay, I'm excited about this because I rarely use highlighters. It's easy. Just blend the highlighter over the top of the cheekbones, across your brow bones, and on the inside corners of your eyes. It really adds dimension and brightness. Now, dust on a translucent powder to help make all your makeup last. I most likely will be sweating a little bit because I'm sure I'll be nervous. So don't forget to dust it all the way into your hairline too. How's that? Looks good so far, and it'll photograph well too. Okay, so what's next? Let's do your eyes. Take a shimmery, natural looking taupe shadow and brush it over your eyelid. So I'm just going along the lid? Yep. Start at the lash line and blend it up to the crease. Is that even? You're looking good. Now, let's emphasize your eyes by lining them with waterproof eyeliner. Starting at the inside corner of your eye, the other inside corner. Oh, right here, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just draw a thin line along your lashes and then repeat along the other eye. Now, draw the pencil along the waterline. Any techniques on how to make my eyes not water during this process? Just go slowly and try to draw lightly. It's okay if they water a little. <laughs> and they'll be watering on my wedding day, I'm sure, too. Plenty of tears. Yeah, this definitely makes the eyes look much more dramatic. You don't want any harsh lines, though. So take your eyeshadow brush and smudge the liner all around your eye. Now for the finishing touch to the eyes. Black mascara. Waterproof, of course. Absolutely, yes. Waterproof to the max. All right, I love my eyes. So now what's next? Blush, so you won't look washed out in your photos. Since you're pale, I'd suggest a light peach or pink color. All right, I think I'll go with this one. Smile in the mirror and brush it over the apples of your cheeks. Oh, I love it. Now for your mouth. Start with a lip balm to make sure your lips are soft and smooth. Next, using a lip pencil that matches your lip color. Yeah, that looks right. Trace the inside of your lip line, and then fill in your lips completely with the pencil. After that, apply a subtle pink lipstick. The perfect lips for kissing. That's really pretty and natural. Now let's set the look with one last dusting of translucent powder. I think you look great. I think so too. If you'd like to get these makeup tips for your wedding day, subscribe below. For more Beauty Basics, subscribe to the Allure channel.